I'm interested in how bacteria can get a foothold in the oral cavity. In this regard, saliva plays a very important role because the salivary proteins and glycoproteins, they adsorb to these surfaces. The reason why we are so interested in the gorillas is because they are 96% homologous to us humans. So I con contacted the officials of the Buffalo Zoo and got in touch with the veterinarian there, Dr. Wally, and he was very welcoming. The Buffalo Zoo has sort of four pillars to its mission, um, education, conservation, recreation, and research. And so we do like to work with local partners, particularly universities, on um, research projects. So being approached by UB Dental School was great because it really tied in with our own mission. Mouse? Good boy. I'm not supposed to come very close because the male gorilla is quite jealous of any other males approaching. <laughs> So, um, for the collection of saliva, the uh, zookeepers collected for us. Stand up. Good girl. They just have to get the gorilla to agree to open its mouth, allow the swab to be placed in the mouth. Um, and then, if they do, uh, they get a food treat. So, it's, it's a pretty simple process and does not involve um, any anesthesia whatsoever. So we have now a whole library of different saliva samples, not only from the gorillas, but also from chimpanzees and humans. It's stronger in the, in the gorilla and in the chimp than in the human. Well, that's very interesting. Initially, our hypothesis was that the saliva and the composition of the salivary proteins would be extremely similar to us humans with maybe only minor differences. But we were surprised to see that the saliva of both gorilla and chimpanzee are more similar to each other than to our human. Now we are going into nutrition, we're going into evolution, because we're seeing all these differences and similarities and we're trying to connect the dots. Our studies may also be beneficial to the animals. You can take saliva as a window to their body's uh, systemic health. I think we will learn a lot, not only about dental oral disease, but maybe about general medical infectious diseases just through spit.